Hello and welcome to the Lena Linda headquarters and our new flagship showroom. Today we're going to show you some products that we had hoped to show you at the exhibitions, but well, here we are online instead. And to give you a warm welcome is our CEO, Per Andreasson. Thank you. I would very much like to have met you in person instead, but it is as it is. I think that we have used this COVID time in a very good way, and I'm very proud of what we have achieved during this time. So without further ado, take it away, Kevin. Thank you so much, Per. Yes, you all know we have some big product news with the new inductive encoders, but that's not all. Per Lundström, you have some other news to tell us. Thank you, Kevin. Today I will only show you some of the products that deserve some extra attention. At this table, for instance, we have uh, not just encoders, we have encoders with special features. Uh, let's start talking about safety. Safety is a very important aspect in every industry. Uh, safety for personnel, safety for machinery, and also having a safe, reliable industry in production. When we developed our safety products that we call the Functional Safety Integrated Series, we uh, collected requirements from the market, from you, and designed products that can help you to having a safe process. This product here is actually a piece of magic. The FSI 800 is actually two encoders in one, which measures speed in a safe way. The measurement is compared and controlled all through the encoder and is certified for SEAL 2 PLD and it is built as a category 3 solution. The FSI 800 is often used together with a motor. It can be mounted on the drive side or on the fan side. And uh, that is only the, the best place to mount it if you want to have a safe, reliable speed. And the safe output signal is actually not two signals, it's six signals to be accurate and give you all the values you need. The next product uh, I would say is actually magic because it doesn't only have the two encoders, it also gives you the position. In this uh, unit you also have a controlling unit that says if something goes wrong, too fast, too slow, too high, too low, accelerate too fast, or if the position is out of limit. Uh, if this wasn't enough, it also have two safety relays integrated that gives you the possibility to turn off a function or the process itself, if it goes wrong in any way. The possibilities to make a machine safe with the FSI products is endless. It is very flexible to set up and it has many fields of work. This is safety for you. Now over to the condition monitoring. We at Lena and Linde want to be the centerpiece in your processes. We can uh, provide a measurement in speed and position, of course, but we can also supply you with the data needed for day-to-day -day maintenance for your motors and machinery. Uh, we can adopt to your demands by communicating through Bluetooth, or uh, we can also use UPC UA, or digital or analog, of course, signals, and we can even communicate through power lines to minimize the cabling for you. So this is condition monitoring. Please contact us uh, if you have any more questions. For hazardous environments where you need some product with EX certifications, we have a broad product range. No production site is like the other and in almost all industries there are areas that are not suitable for electronic devices. The wrong equipment could ignite gas or dust with oxygen and cause problems. Our EX encoders are certified to all the major EX standards and can be used all around the world. 
uh, we see it as our duty to make encoders for all your demands and environments. So these were some of the encoders with added features. D do you have anything else? Yes, that's correct. Here we want to talk a little bit about uh, encoders with different shaft sizes. Our customer want to measure the movement in very different applications. Uh, what I want to show you here is our ability to equip from the smallest encoder, like this one, with the smallest type of uh, shaft, to the more uh, medium-sized with these uh, magnetic encoders, where we have shaft sizes from 25 mm up to 100 mm. Or even if you would like an encoder for the largest shaft size out there, we can go very, very big if needed. So never think twice if you want to have a specific request and want to contact us. We can probably help you. Thanks, Pierre. That was a great overview. Now, as we wait for Magnus to come into the studio, we're waiting breathlessly for the big news of the new encoders. Magnus, welcome. What is the big news? So, the big news that we would like to share with you today is our new M500 product series. It's a range of uh, heavy-duty encoders for automation and other industries. So, what does this mean for customers? That is going to mean for the customer that they will uh, receive a line of encoders uh, dedicated to their specific needs that vouches for uh, some huge advantages in terms of lifetime, environmental robustness, but also with a form and fit that is much smaller compared with uh, prior models that they may have experience from uh, coming from Lane Linde. Okay, now you've got four variants here. Why these four variants? So these are actually the four models that we will launch uh, now uh, as an subset or of a future product series that will continue to develop and evolve over time. So we have actually selected to launch some models that you might recognize as a customers because they look very much like the conventional 58 millimeter encoder that we have in our product range. But we are also taking the opportunity to launch some great new features uh, that are new to Lena Linde but also uh, to some of our customers as well. And that includes, for instance, uh, bearingless versions and uh, also, of course, the basic for this technology, which is the inductive technology that is also brand new in the field of incremental encoders. Okay, so what's, what's the first one? So the first one we will focus on is the solid shaft version. Uh, it's a typical 58 millimeter diameter encoder. Uh, this one comes with radial cable outlets, but of course there can be uh, different connecting alternatives as well. But what is uh, unique with this is of course that it has a solid shaft that sticks out of the encoder, which is typically used to uh, attach a shaft coupling or a measuring wheel. Um, these kind of encoders have been around since ages uh, and they are compliant with mechanical interfaces like the synchro flange like on this one, but we can also do it with clamping flanges and other flanges that might fit the mechanical interface of the customer's machine. So if you could, could you just describe inductive technology for us and the benefits of it? So when talking about encoder technology, there are different ways to generate the scanning itself. It can either be optical, which is the technology that Lena Linde have worked with for, for a long time. It can be magnetic, which we also have in our product range. But then we have this inductive technology as well that has been our products for quite some time and it's a very proven and mature technology because it's used, been used in servo motor feedback for, for ages. For Lena Linde we have had it in our inductive absolute encoder but now we also launched the incremental version based on inductive technology. And conceptually it is consistent of two parts. One is the rotor part that actually rotates with the shaft rotating and you have the stator part. And inductive technology is all done in electronics. Uh, how the te technology works itself is that on the stator there are a number of coils, one that excite and one that receive the signal. And when the rotor uh, moves with the shaft, it kind of shields off the magnetic flux that the stator sees. And then this can be converted into an absolute position 
and out of the absolute position, you can calculate an incremental frequency that generates the speed feedback to the inverter or drive system. Okay, and are these only available in solid shafts? No, we have also here examples with the hollow shaft versions. So we have this blind hollow shaft on this model. This is a product that is widely used by large drives manufacturers. Sometimes they mount the encoder as an accessory after the manufacturing of big motors or generators. And what they typically like to do is to standardize the mechanical interface to the encoder. And the encoder is generally mounted onto the rotor of the machine. And what the customers producing such large motors do is that they have an extension shaft on the rotor of the motor, which the encoder bolts onto by a central screw that secures the encoder to the motor. Okay, well, let's talk about um, extending the lifetime of these products. I mean, I mean, what's in these products that extends the lifetime that's not in your traditional products? Yeah, Lena Linde, we are recognized for having durable encoder that can cope with really harsh environment. That's our niche on the encoder market, I would say. But when defining the lifetime of an encoder in an application, Typically, of course, it depends on parameters like the ambient condition, how well it is installed, and in the encoder itself, we typically relate the bearings as one of the lifetime limiting factors. And in conventional 58 millimeter encoders, they were, of course, by definition, 58 millimeter in outer diameter, and given the technology used, the size of the bearing was limited sometimes by the technology. And as we now go inductive with this M500 series, we have been able to remove lenses and optical things that took space and limited the size of the bearings. And therefore we can use much, much bigger bearings today compared with prior models. So as a comparison on the hollow shaft versions in this M500 series, it utilized the same bearing size as our 800 series of heavy duty encoders. And that is one of the things that warrant the lifetime of these inductive encoders in the M500 series. I'm assuming that the lifetime cost of any product is installation. Have you guys kept this in mind? For sure. And we know that the overall quality of the installation is really influencing the lifetime of the encoder. So to make the installation easy for the user, that was really key elements that we focused on during the development of these uh, product lines. Because we know that one thing is when you install the encoder in the motor factory, for instance. Another thing is if you have to replace it due to a maintenance uh, reason on the motor, whatever, in the field. So we wanted these products to be as easy to install in real life application as in the factory. So we have considered all of these things uh, ending up in a product that requires no uh, special tools when you mount it. Uh, it's actually so that you more or less only need one tool to install these encoders. Thinking of the user climbing up the wind turbine, not having all the equipment uh, with him. And uh, so I would say that overall the installation, the bearing is what warrants the lifetime of these new encoder series. Well, that's great for manufacturers of large motors, of course. But what if you already have an existing uh, setup with traditional products? When we develop things, we look backward and we look forward. When we look backward, we take all the experiences that we have, that we have learned over the years that we've been in operation. So we really wanted this product line to be somewhat backward compatible, but also future proof. So if you look on this through going hollow shaft version with a clamping ring in the front, for instance, this is a very common interface of encoders today. And of course, the new M500 series comes with these features as well for those applications that simply want to have a more robust, more sturdy encoder than what they are using today. Well, the products look great, of course, uh, and somewhat familiar, but this one looks a little different. Very small uh, for an inductive encoder. Yes, like I said at the beginning, the size of the encoders are an industry trend that is changing. Customer would like the encoders to get smaller and smaller to reduce the weight, to reduce the amount of material being used. And this is actually a very thin encoder that we call the MZI594 as a product designation. And this is an incremental encoder, but it's also small in length due to the fact that it's bearing less. And the shaft here, tell us about that. Yes, this, this shaft might look a little bit uh, strange compared with a conventional solid shaft. Uh, what we have done on this product is that we have 
tried to make all the installation for the customer as easy as possible. So typically, when installed on a machine, all the access to screws and other things will be from behind. So it can be installed in a really narrow uh, place. And if you look on the front of the encoder, you can see that we have a conical shaft here uh, that actually enables the rotor of the inductive parts inside to rotate. And it's done in a conical shape just to make sure that it aligns properly to the machine. Um, if you look on the outer uh, flange part here, which supports the stator of the encoder, it is also designed in a way that all these grooves are so it can ensure that the customer mount it properly under all conditions. So at the end of the day, what we tried to do was to make the installation easy by the mechanics of the design. Well, that's great. I can see this can be a game changer. So what do customers need to do if they want to start using this new technology? What we are launching now is just a subset of what the future product series might contain. So what we really would like the customers to do is to reach out to their normal Lane and Linde contact channel, so to say, to discuss the opportunities that these product series consist of or, or enable for them, so to say. Uh, Lane and Linde has been a company since many, many years and have always focused on one thing, and that is to develop tailored solution for its customers. So we really think and believe that the best solutions are the ones that we develop together. And please feel free to reach out to us with your requirements in terms of performance, in, in terms of usable life expectancy. And we will be happy to discuss what this product line might bring to you in your application. And if we find that we have other products in our portfolio that is better suited, then of course we talk about those as well. But we generally believe that the variants out of this new M500 series will become a game changer, like you said, and really set and define new standards on the incremental and absolute encoder market. Thanks, Magnus. And now it's over to our sales director, Urban. Urban. So much stuff going on, so much product development going on. Tell us a little bit more. Yeah, I'm happy to have so much new products which can fit your application. We have the different mechanical interfaces with small shaft, big shaft, hollow shaft, big hollow shafts. And we have also the safety encoders with a safety relay output, which is very useful in many crane applications. We have the explosion proof encoder, which in special environments is the best and only solution. And then we have the condition monitoring things in the encoder that really helps you to make your factory 4.0. And finally, we have the M500 series, the new series with extended lifetime. One of the reasons is because of the bearingless. So there will be an encoder for your application. Very happy. Very good, very great products, great product development, but a lot of information. If customers need to make inquiries or get in touch, what do they need to do? Yeah, Lane and Linde have a global sales organization. So have a look at our homepage. There you easily can find the right and the closest helpful man or woman who can help you with your application and find the right encoder for your application. Thanks so much, Urban. And thanks to Pear and Magnus as well, and also to you, you guys out there watching, and hopefully you've been inspired by some of the product development that you've seen today. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.